Hi, I'm Bonnie Kane from Transcendent Winds and Bonnie Kane Experimental Music, and I'm answering fan questions today. One of the questions I've received is, how do I stay inspired to do weekly live streams? You know, since uh, COVID started and all touring and shows have stopped, I used to tour all the time and play shows all the time, uh, you know, several a month. Uh, lots of four and five day tours and some international tours. So, you know, my first love is performing, is playing shows, the whole experience of it. And I always have loved shows. Anyway, so uh, when this sort of changed, not sort of, it definitely changed. After a few experiments, I realized I had the gear to do these Facebook live shows and we were all locked down, and so I started doing them. So I've been doing two, at least two Facebook Live shows a week now. Now it's no, the end of November, so we're we talking about eight months into nine months, and I will continue doing so, uh, certainly until we can play live shows again and tour again, and then we'll see what happens with the broadcast. But the question is, how do I stay inspired? And it goes back to my thinking about art and my training. I went through art school, not music school, art school. And really, I think the best training I had was learning what the soul of an artist, you know, what the, what the point is. And to me, the point is to be able to find your own truth as an artist, to, you know, really have the experience of deep diving into your own soul and being able to express that. And when we look at art around us that moves us, be it visual, be it dance, be it music, whatever, it's because whoever was the creator was able to tap into their humanity so truthfully, so deeply, and express that that it touches us, it touches us the viewer, you know. You might not have been around when Mozart was alive, but you're touched by his music. You might not have been around when John Coltrane was alive, but here you are listening to a record that, or, you know, a digital download that was recorded, you know, 40 years ago, and it speaks to you. Moreau speaks to you, Picasso speaks to you, whoever speaks to you. It's because they were able to deep dive into their own humanity and find their truth and express that. So to me, that's the challenge. That's the challenge and it's a practice, just like a yoga practice, just like baseball practice. It's a practice. You have to keep practicing. You have to do it. You have to, you have to live it in order for it to be the truth. And when an artist taps into that, that's why their art is powerful. That's what makes them unique. I'm, there are plenty of saxophone players who are better than me, who do different kinds of things. There's plenty of things I can't do. I'll never, you'll never hear me playing Charlie Parker solos, never. It won't happen. I'm playing Bonnie Kane solos. I'm playing what I have as the truth, as my truth. And, you know, being conscious is not a state you get to and then you got it. Being any kind of person is not a state you get to and then you got it. It takes practice. It takes doing. It takes repetition. And so these live shows, these live streams that I'm doing, for you, I'm also doing it for me. I'm doing it for us. Because we all need to go in and find our truths. We all need to do it repeatedly. We need to, you want to call it meditation? Call it meditation. You want to call it taking a walk and, and finding your spirit? Call it that. But we all need to do this continually, to do it regularly. You know, the 
actual doing of uh, the regular live streams, putting some order back into my world, after my world, and your world too, not just me, uh, you know, is just tossed on its edge here with this virus thing. That helped me stabilize. That's helped my viewers stabilize. And it is my deepest honor and my deepest thrill to be able to, you know, we have this technology. How lucky is that? You know, it is my deepest thrill and honor to be able to do these live streams on a weekly basis and be able to have you with me, be able to provide something that you can tap into whenever you get around to it. It's not always, you know, you're living your life, I'm living my life. It's not always Sunday night, time to mellow out. Things happen. Even I went camping during the summer. I took some time off from it. But again, this is my work. This is my duty. This is what I have to give to the world, to you. So thanks for listening. And right now, trans Transcendent Winds, Hour of Calm, is on Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Time uh, on Facebook, facebook.com backslash Bonnie Kane Music. And we've just started a new kind of thing. Uh, Afternoon Noise, No Apologies, was on Wednesdays at 3 for the beginning of this COVID thing, and it was mostly solo noise. And now things have loosened up a little bit where my project RIM, a band project, we're able to do this at 5.30s from a gallery. So that's what we're doing. So Wednesday, 5.30 in the afternoon, afternoon noise, no apologies, and will be concert with RIM, and that involves two drummers and a synth player, and it's pretty exciting. Okay, thanks. This is Bonnie Kane from Transcendent Winds and Bonnie Kane Experimental Music. We've got other people walking in the forest here, so uh, see you later. Bye.